Hi, I'm Sarah Backhouse of Future360, back with more of our energy series produced in conjunction with the Switch Energy Project, a campaign to educate global citizens about the science of energy. Wind is a readily available resource that's easy to harness, but what's the downside? Intermittency, the cost of transmission, and for some, the aversion to the sight of wind turbines. Here's Dr. Scott Tinker with more. So here's what you need to know about wind. It's the fastest growing renewable. Why? First, it's simple. Wind turns the blades, which turns the generator, and that makes electricity. Then, it's modular. You can put up a few wind turbines to help power a village, or put up a lot, and you've got a wind farm. And you can do it fast. A wind farm can be built in a year, and in the world of energy, that's very fast. Then, wind is available. Most countries have usable wind. And some of the biggest power consumers, like the US and China, have a lot of it. But wind's most important benefit is that it's affordable. Wind power is about the same price as natural gas power, and that means people will build it. And of course, once it's built, there are zero emissions, carbon or anything else. That's a pretty good deal. But wind has a few downsides. Some people don't want to look at all the turbines, and the closer they are, the less people want to look at them. So you could put them offshore, but this makes wind power several times as expensive. Or you could put them far away, like in the Great Plains. But then you've got to build long distance transmission. And it turns out that's much more of a challenge than building the wind farm itself. Finally, the biggest challenge is that wind is intermittent. It only makes power when the wind is blowing. So it may not be there when we need it most, like on a hot summer day when everyone's running their air conditioning. That means we have to back up wind with another fast starting power source, ready to jump in when the wind dies. That's usually natural gas. So wind is a new clean power source that is affordable, unless building transmission and backup generation make it unaffordable. Which goes to show that every energy source is a trade-off of pros and cons, and that a successful energy transition will require the right balance of many energy sources. Share this video and join the discussion at switchenergyproject.com and future360.tv. Thanks for watching.